Randy Lawson with Fire Effects, and in this video, we're going to answer the question, do you need social media? When people come to me and they want to start talking about social media, they get really excited because it's everywhere today, right? Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, things are blowing up on Twitter, you want to be trending, you want to go viral. But really from a business perspective, there's a few key questions you need to answer before you can decide to get serious about social media. The first question is, do you have a product or service to offer? Many of us, when we're first getting started out in business, um, don't really have a well-defined product or service, which is fine. You know, you can consult with clients, you can still add value, there's many things that you can do, but over time you will really define a product or service. And if you're to that point, great, check that box. Next thing we're going to talk about is, are you able to follow up with the current amount of contacts and leads that you have? A lot of people are networking or they have other connections or they're getting referrals. There's many ways to build your business. Of all those contacts and leads and coming in, do you already have processes in place to be able to follow up and connect with those, those potential clients and those leads? Um, or is that something that's still a work in process or is there a stack of business cards on your desk? If you answered yes, you're able to follow up, great. If you've answered no here, you probably wanna really refine and define those processes before moving on to other channels that will add more leads. Um, third, are you consistently creating valuable content? Do you blog or vlog or podcast? Are you con are creating consistent, and consistent is so key here, consistent, valuable information that you could put out into the world? If you answered yes, check that box off. If you answered no, this is something you absolutely want to have in place before you start to get serious about social media. Because social media, when you get there, you want to spend your time being able to engage with people, not worrying about creating content. You need to have um, a machine or a process already in place that creates content that you can go out and share with the world and talk about and engage with people around. Uh, so that's the, the next point. Finally, um, do you already have an email list? If you are haven't started putting together how you build your email list, if you still have that stack of business cards on your desk, then you're probably not quite ready for social media. If you already have an email list and it's well defined and you're communicating with them consistently because you're producing content consistently, then you have checked all the boxes and you definitely are ready to get serious about social media. If one of these things is not quite exactly in place yet, then I really recommend that you go, go back and work on that and get it to be a well-oiled machine so that when you are ready to get serious about social media, and you go engage, that you can get the best return on your investment of time and money there. Because otherwise, you're just potentially turning on another lead source or another expense where you're not ready to capitalize on the return it can have for your business. So you can get these types of marketing, digital marketing insights and other resources information at fireyfx.com.